Hello everyone, welcome to day nine, blimey. Sam here with the wonderful Cup of Doom. Uh, right, we're going for it. Another day, another drawing, another prompt from my loving family. All right, okay, I've got one, I've got one. Maybe I should take one from the top-ish. Okay, it is Windmill. It's the same one, I still don't know if this is my boyfriend or my dad. I asked my boyfriend and he couldn't recognise it. So I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? All right, we're doing a windmill. Okay, I like windmills. I've always wanted to live in a windmill. But that's something else. <gasps> I can make a windmill house. Oh, I'm making a windmill house. All right, that's being done. So I'm not happy with this one. I will admit it, I've, I've sped it up a lot just to get through it because I'm not happy. I tried again without liners and I had an image in my head and I, I measured stuff out and everything. I didn't just freehand it. I actually used a ruler to try and get this like, you know, equal both sides, but uh, it's, it's not good enough. There you go. I've said it out loud. It's not good enough and I'm not happy with it. It's quite cute, but uh, not, not what I want. Um, I, th I think I, I want to go back and try a bit more of maybe mixing this um, lineless but with other things that are lined maybe that's the next step on I actually stopped filming at, at one stage I stopped filming because this this is tedious I, I'm actually doing what's it called siding or something but it ends up looking like brick which works because this could be made out of brick that's fine but yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm not recording this. I'm just doing these little bits all the way up and then I colour them in all the way up and then I shade them all the way up. And this, this took a little over an hour, I think, probably an hour and 10 minutes to do this one. But oh my, I, I don't know why I got it into my head. I was trying to do sort of a cartoony shape and then I wanted to make it look like a Russian doll. I don't know why I've, I wanted to make a Russian doll. What's going on in my head? but it's essentially supposed to be shaped like a Russian doll. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But that that's sort of this cartoony shape that's going on. And then I thought, shall I line it? No, there you go, I just, I just cut it, I cut it. And here's me coloring in every single brick or whatever these are, tiles maybe. Let's go with brick. Let's just pretend I meant to do it in brick. But basically, yeah, just experimenting with how best to, to do this. I did a very light E00 or something like that, colour on the bottom. And then I'm going over with E something else. And then a couple more colours just to sort of go around the edges and colour it in. And then I go over the whole thing again with the E00, I think it was that one, just to kind of mould it all together. I think, there you go. I think it's all right. And then I tried shading it. Again, I wasn't brave enough with the shading. Oh, I'm down on myself today. Oh, I am. I'm I'm not happy with it. But no, I, 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 this is what I did and I'm sharing it. And that's what I said I would do. So I could have hidden it and said, oh, I forgot. But that would have been awful as well. So best of two bad choices, I guess. But it's all right. It's not what I wanted. It's not what was in my head. I think I wanted more detail, maybe more plants. Again, maybe I could go back and try and add, but I don't know. I think it looks like a windmill. I am very, very aware that the windmill sails are too short. Just just to put that out there. I know that they are. I just I thought it looked kind of cartoony with it being kind of like a chibi kind of it's a chibi chibi or chibi chibi. Uh, windmill. That's what it is. It's a little chibi windmill. But anyway, as for the story, I'll put it here. Bing! But I haven't actually thought of it yet. So I'm okay. So this, um, this, this fruit tree, this, um, tan and I kept saying orange, but it's a tangerine tree. They pick it and then they suddenly realize that in front of them is this windmill. It has sprouted up as well. And that's where the I, I draw it in a minute. I put little orange. I was going with flowers, but then yeah, okay. They're 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 tangerines. It's actually growing around the door to this windmill house, 
So in the next one, whatever prompt we get tomorrow, we're going to go with um, going inside this windmill and seeing who lives there. So whatever prompt we get tomorrow has to be inside this windmill. But there you go, there you go, there's, there's the tangerines. And I always put the little pink flowers in here. For some reason they have something to do with it, I've no idea. And my green is running out, so I had to find another green quick. But anyway, then I, I remembered the sails. And I thought, yeah, okay, what colour are they going to be? I just don't know. I'd, I'd given up by this point. Looking at it, it's all right. It's just not what I wanted. And this this door, I'm trying to put sort of wood grain in it. It doesn't really show up on camera, but there is supposed to be wood grain in it. And then the sails, I uh, I use this. This is a, I think it's W8. Can't quite see. They're warm, uh, warm dark grey. Just to give it, I don't know, warmth. Am I going with that? I'm probably going with that. But yeah, there you go. This is my my windmill which now the girl and Edmund are standing outside of having eaten one of its uh, one of its tangerines which I don't know will the owner be happy god knows here um, I'm actually trying to pick what color I was sitting there staring at it thinking I don't like this what am I going to do I've got to finish it now so I went with the I went with yellow and a bit of orange shading to sort of match the tangerines and the door handle really so, yep, just finishing up there. But anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still not sure, but, you know, so we're not going to do everything that's exactly how we want it. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And how are you lot doing? <laughs> you did better this time than me. But we, we, we'll see where this... Um, oh, yes, and I was all brave. I coloured it in. I, I picked a... Not as... It's not very uh, dark blue at all, but to my mind while doing this, it was pretty damn dark blue. So I'm getting a bit braver. I'm learning, don't you think? A little bit? Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.